this movie told the truth about the warriors and about what they're facing when they come home. I rewatched the movie last week and I cried at the end. I mean, I cried through it, but I cried at the end because I felt helpless. Like, what do I do with this now? What can any of us do? I think for people, even non Gold Star families, when they watch it, like, yeah, this is painful. This is real. Like, there's people who deal with this every day. You know, we try our best to push it away, but we can't. The society is not educated on any of it. That's the sad part. You don't even hear about it anymore, but we're losing our guys over there still today. We're not educated about the gold stars, the blue star moms. You know, when your sons and daughters go in to the service, they don't even know what a blue star mom is, that their you know moms could belong to this group that would help them through while they're deployed or something. So it's just a huge thing that should start day one in the military of educating um, our society and the ones that sign on that dotted line. We need to kick the shit out of the people that don't understand any of this. You know, people are very removed from military goings on, you know, people losing, you know, family members and what that's like. It's just like, oh, yeah, oh, another another casualty, another this, another that, another veteran coming home, you know, that killed himself or, you know, that has problems or, you know, all of these things, nobody does anything with them. You know, they just hear about them and it's removed from them. Um, I just felt like people had to understand what is happening when these guys are coming home. Travis told me he, when I seen him last before he deployed, he said, mom, he said, I don't want to come home half a man. I don't think he would have dealt with PTSD either myself. It tugs my heart to hear you guys talk about the fact that you would have, you know, that your son, do you think they might have struggled also? Because um, when I watched the movie for the first time, boy, I just, I heard Michael's voice and I, I could see him in so many of uh, Jonathan's two, four buddies that it just, it was just very difficult to watch because I was watching men who were surviving and that really um, affected me that um, these guys are fighting the battle and they're winning. And I just wanted to be, want to be close to them. And I just really appreciate and admire what they're doing because I know how much it takes um, because Michael didn't survive it. I can't even imagine in my wildest dreams what any of them had to go through or what they had to come home with and what even Travis's buddies and our military are still dealing with today from this conflict, which is 17 years ago. Um, right. I talked to one of Travis's friends the other night and he's just been having such issues for so long. And um, we've all reached out, tried to help him. And I'm just not sure if we're getting across to him enough. It's going to be hard. It's hard. We have to do it ourselves because no one's going to do it for us because the government's not helping. You did your part. You're done. Thank you. Go to college get a job and get back to normal but here we are you know cleaning up the pieces amongst ourselves and that's kind of what i think bastards road shows like this those tough conversations that they have all those struggles that the guys have had and how they still have each other and i mean they've lost more guys since they've came home but they all and, and it's hard they don't want to lose anymore <laughs>